Welcome to the Univax Slicer training video. This video has been created as a companion to the instruction manual provided with your machine. This video is in no way a substitute for the instruction manual. Make sure to read and understand your owner's manual before operating the slicer. Important safety reminders. You must be at least 18 years of age to operate, clean, disassemble, or move the slicer. Operation by persons under the age of 18 is prohibited. Make sure all safety devices are in place and working properly. Always make sure the knife guard is securely locked into place. When the slicer is not in use, always fully close the fence and unplug the machine. Keep the work area around the slicer free from grease, obstructions, and other hazards. The knife should be sharpened and maintained regularly. The slicer should be lubricated regularly. Always shut off the power and disconnect the electrical plug from the outlet before cleaning or servicing your machine. It is recommended that you wear cut-resistant gloves when working with, cleaning, or sharpening the slicer. Always pay attention and exercise caution when working with the slicer as the blade is extremely sharp. Using your slicer. Univex slicers are designed to meet the cook's demand for an efficient, sturdy slicer and are engineered to give years of unfailing performance. When you first receive your slicer, you should thoroughly wash and sanitize the slicer before using it for the first time. Cleaning instructions are included later in this video. Manual Slicing Univex offers a variety of slicers to meet the demands of light, medium, and heavy-duty use. Before beginning operation, put on your cut-resistant gloves covered with single-use gloves. If your slicer is a semi-automatic model, for manual operation, the machine must first be set to manual mode. Make sure the slicer is turned off and that the thickness control dial is turned back as far as it can go to the minimum setting. Then pull the carriage towards you. Move the weighted gravity feed grip out of the way. Place the product into the carriage and lock it in place with the feed plate. Use the thickness control dial to control the thickness of the cut. Turn the thickness control dial counterclockwise to increase the thickness of the cut, and turn the thickness control dial clockwise to decrease the thickness of the cut. Note: The numbers on the thickness control dial are for reference purposes only and do not correspond to any specific unit of measure. If your model has a master power switch, first turn on the master power switch located on the rear of the machine. Then press the power button to turn the machine on. The power indicator light should illuminate and the blade will begin to spin. On the Univex Model 1000S, first turn on the master power switch on the rear of the machine. Then press the blade on button on the control panel for two seconds. To slice the product, grasp the carriage arm handle with your right hand and move the carriage back and forth. Danger! Use only the carriage arm handle to move the carriage back and forth. Do not push the carriage from the feed plate handle or from any other place. When finished, pull the carriage toward you completely and shut off the power. Turn the thickness control dial all the way back to the minimum setting to ensure that the blade is flushed and closed. Now, open the feed plate and remove the product. Unplug the slicer. Important. When the slicer is not in use, always fully close the fence 
and unplug the machine. Automatic slicing. If your model is equipped, first turn on the master power switch located on the rear of the machine. Make sure the slicer is turned off, the thickness control dial is set to the minimum, and the carriage is pulled all the way toward you. Place the product in the carriage and lock it in place with the feed plate. First, set the thickness control dial. Then set the slicer to automatic mode. If your model is equipped, use the variable speed control knob to change the carriage speed. Next, press the start switch. The carriage will begin to move back and forth. To stop slicing in automatic mode, turn the mode selector knob back to the manual position or simply shut the slicer off. Make sure the slicer is turned off before removing product. When finished, turn the thickness control dial back to the minimum to close the blade, pull the carriage all the way toward you, and unplug the machine. Important! When the slicer is not in use, always fully close the fence and unplug the machine. Automatic slicing on the 1000S. To operate the Univex Model 1000S in automatic mode, turn on the master power switch located on the rear of the machine. Make sure the power is turned off, the carriage is pulled all the way forward, and the thickness control dial is set to the minimum. Then, Press the blade on button on the control panel. The blade will begin to spin. Set the thickness control dial to the desired setting. Then set the carriage speed to slow, medium, or fast by using the stroke speed buttons on the control panel. Set the stroke length to small, medium, or large by using the stroke length buttons on the control panel. Press the automatic engagement on button on the control panel to switch to automatic mode. The carriage will begin moving back and forth. Note that the carriage speed and stroke length can be adjusted while the machine is slicing. To stop slicing in automatic mode, Press the automatic engagement off button. The carriage will return to the home position. Turn off the power before removing or changing your product. The control panel on the 1000S also allows you to set a specific slice count. To use this feature, ensure that the machine is powered on and that automatic engagement is turned off. Set your desired speed and stroke length. Then use the up and down arrows to set the desired number of slices in hundreds, tens, and ones. Press the automatic engagement on button to begin slicing. The machine will stop automatically when the desired number of slices has been cut. Important! When the slicer is not in use, Always fully close the fence and unplug the machine. Slicer Cleaning Your slicer should be cleaned and sanitized at least once for every four-hour period of use and at the end of each workday. It is recommended that you wear cut-resistant gloves when cleaning the slicer. Prior to cleaning, turn off the machine and then Turn the thickness control dial all the way to the minimum to close the fence. Pull the carriage all the way toward you. If your slicer is a semi-automatic model, switch the slicer to manual mode before cleaning. Unplug the slicer. Danger! Always unplug the slicer prior to cleaning. After unplugging the slicer, remove the carriage components. 
If your model has a non-removable carriage assembly, loosen the carriage arm knob and tilt the carriage assembly away from the slicer body. Note that on some models, the thickness control dial functions as a release lever for the carriage. Next, loosen the adjustment spacer knob. Then unscrew the adjustment spacer rod. Remove the rod and spacer and set aside for cleaning. Now, remove the feed grip. If the grip on your model is comprised of multiple pieces, remove the feed weight and first spacing washer by turning the weight counterclockwise. Remove the feed grip from the support arm and the second plastic spacing washer. Also remove the small metal grip washer. Then set all the pieces aside for cleaning. Next, loosen the knob on the product feed rod by turning counterclockwise. Remove the rod, feed grip, and the two impact absorbing washers and set aside for cleaning. On models with removable carriages, unscrew the carriage arm knob and pull upwards to remove the carriage. Set the knob and carriage aside for cleaning. On models which have a removable thickness control dial, loosen the screw on the front and remove the knob for cleaning. On models where the sharpener is stored on top of the machine, unscrew the sharpener locking pin and carefully remove the sharpener by pulling upwards. Set aside for cleaning. Danger. Use extreme caution around the exposed blade edge. On models equipped with a removable knife scraper, remove the knife scraper from behind the blade and set aside for cleaning. On models equipped with a non-detachable knife scraper, tilt the knife scraper down for cleaning. Next, loosen the knife guard knob on the back of the slicer. If your model is equipped with a removable knife guard knob, remove the knife guard knob and set aside for cleaning. Push upwards on the knife guard rod to lift the guard away from the blade. Take all disassembled slicer components to the sink for cleaning and sanitizing. All slicer components should be washed in mild detergent and warm water, thoroughly rinsed, sanitized, and allowed to air dry. Important! Never run any portion of the slicer through a dishwasher. Now, clean and sanitize the entire slicer. Working from top to bottom, Wipe away any excess food debris. Use a nylon brush soaked in mild detergent and warm water to clean around the ring guard. Also use the brush to clean the back side of the knife. Being careful not to touch the blade edge, use a moist wipe or clean cloth soaked in mild detergent and warm water to clean the knife with a circular motion. Always start from the center and work outwards when cleaning the blade. Also clean the back side of the blade. Clean the fence by starting at the knife and wiping away from the blade. Danger! Always clean the knife by wiping from the center outward and always clean the fence by wiping away from the blade. To clean between the blade edge and protective ring guard, insert a moist wipe or damp cloth soaked in mild detergent and warm water between the blade edge and guard. Carefully work the cloth around the blade edge. Now clean all other parts of the slicer. Then use a clean cloth soaked in clean water or a spray bottle to rinse the slicer. Remove excess water from the surface with a clean dry paper towel. Dry the knife from the center of the knife outward and dry the fence by starting at the knife and wiping away from the blade. 
Use a clean cloth soaked in sanitizer solution or a spray bottle sanitizer to sanitize the machine. Important. After sanitizing, allow the slicer and all parts to completely air dry. Never wipe dry after sanitizing. Reassemble the slicer in reverse order. Carefully align the knife guard cover over the blade and allow it to drop into place. Then secure the knife guard by tightening the knob on the knife guard shaft. Reinstall the knife scraper or, on models with non-removable scrapers, tilt the knife scraper back into position. For models equipped with a top-mounted sharpener, reinstall the sharpener into its storage position. On models with a removable thickness control dial, reattach the dial and tighten the screw. If your model has a removable carriage, reattach the carriage and tighten the carriage arm knob. Next, reinstall the feed grip and slide rod. If your grip is comprised of multiple pieces, thread the product feed rod through the first hole on the carriage. Slide the first thick impact-absorbing washer onto the rod, slide the support onto the shaft, and then slide on the second thick impact-absorbing washer. Insert the end of the rod into the second hole on the carriage and turn clockwise to tighten. Replace the small metal washer onto the product feed grip. Then place the first thin plastic spacing washer back onto the feed grip. Thread the grip back through the hole in the support arm. Place the second thin spacing washer on the support assembly and reattach and secure the weight by turning clockwise. Next, reinstall the adjustment spacer and rod and tighten the knob. Slide the spacer out of the way and tighten the knob to secure it. Note, to allow for easy adjustment, do not over tighten the adjustment spacer shaft or the weight on the gravity feed assembly. If your model has a non-removable carriage, tilt the carriage back in and tighten the carriage arm knob. You should also clean and sanitize the area underneath your slicer. Always use caution when lifting heavier models. On models equipped with a lift lever, push the lift lever away from you while gently lifting up on the front of the slicer. After cleaning and sanitizing underneath your slicer, gently lower it back into place. Always use both hands when lifting or lowering the slicer. Slicer Sharpening the knife should be sharpened regularly in order to maintain productivity and to produce the highest quality slices. It is recommended that you wear cut-resistant gloves when sharpening the slicer. On models with a top-mounted sharpener, turn off the power and turn the thickness control dial to the minimum to fully close the fence prior to sharpening. On automatic units, make sure that the slicer is set to manual mode. Unplug the slicer and fully clean and dry the blade on both sides prior to sharpening. Slightly loosen the sharpener locking pin by turning the knob counterclockwise. Lift and rotate the sharpener 180 degrees so that the sharpening stones are facing forward with the blade between them. Retighten the sharpener locking pin. The sharpener should straighten out to fully align with the blade as the knob is tightened. Plug in the machine and turn the power on. Press and hold the button on the rear of the sharpener for 15 to 30 seconds to sharpen the blade. It is normal to see sparks. 
Then press and hold the button on the front of the sharpener for one to three seconds to hone the blade. Turn the slicer off and unplug the machine. Remove the sharpener. After sharpening, fully disassemble, clean, and sanitize the machine to remove grinding debris. Remember, clean, sharpen, clean, sanitize. Sharpening 1000 series slicers. Univex 1000 series slicers have a removable sharpener with a fence mounted design. Important. Always turn off the power and unplug the machine prior to sharpening. Loosen the sharpener locking knob assembly. Lift the sharpener assembly and place it on top of the fence. The body of the sharpener should face the front of the fence and the mounting knob should face the rear of the fence. When sharpening 1000 series slicers, set the thickness control dial to the maximum thickness. Danger. Use extreme caution around the exposed blade edge. Place your left hand on top of the sharpener and your right hand on the carriage handle. Carefully slide the carriage toward the blade until the sharpener locks into place. Tighten the mounting knob to secure the sharpener. Plug in the machine and turn the slicer on. To sharpen, turn the sharpener dial down to position 1 and hold for 15 to 30 seconds. It is normal to see sparks during sharpening. Return the sharpener dial to the center position. Next, hone the blade by turning the sharpener dial up to position 2 and hold for 1 to 3 seconds. Turn off the slicer and unplug the machine. Carefully hold the sharpener steady and loosen the mounting knob. Grasp the carriage handle and slide the carriage all the way toward you. Turn the thickness control dial all the way to the minimum to fully close the fence. Remove the sharpener. After sharpening, thoroughly disassemble, clean, and sanitize the slicer in order to remove grinding debris. Remember, clean, sharpen, clean, sanitize. Slicer maintenance. Periodic lubrication is necessary to properly maintain your slicer. General lubrication with food grade mineral oil is recommended weekly. Important, never use a vegetable spray or cooking oil to lubricate the slicer. Prior to lubrication, always make sure to fully close the fence, turn off the power, and unplug the machine. First, wipe the carriage slide bars with a clean dry cloth to remove any residue. Then, apply a few drops of mineral oil to the feed grip rod. Slide the grip back and forth a few times to distribute evenly. Also apply a few drops of mineral oil to the adjustment spacer rod. Slide the adjustment spacer back and forth a few times to distribute evenly. Tighten the spacer knob and then loosen the carriage arm knob to remove the carriage. Then slide the carriage arm forward. Carefully turn the unit on its side. Always use caution when lifting heavier models. On some models, it is necessary to remove the feet by turning counterclockwise. If your model has a bottom panel, use a Phillips screwdriver to loosen the screws. Then remove the bottom panel to access the underside of the machine. Apply a few drops of mineral oil to the carriage slide bar.
carefully move the carriage back and forth to distribute the oil. Also apply a few drops of mineral oil to the thickness control slide bar. Turn the thickness control dial back and forth to distribute the oil. On a monthly basis, a few drops of mineral oil should also be applied to the black can. Turn the thickness control dial back and forth to distribute the oil. Replace the bottom panel, secure it with the screws, and then reattach the feet. Carefully return the slicer to its normal position. Reattach the carriage and tighten the knob. The unit is now ready for operation. Thanks for watching the Univex slicer training video. If you have any further questions, contact Univex at 800 258 6358, sales at univexcorp.com, or visit us on the web at www.univexcorp.com. Calm.